because <laughs> it is National Retro Day. Yes, that's right. We're kind of dressed up. Uh, and we have Amy joining us from Vintage uh, Junkies now. Welcome into Studio 10. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Are you... Uh, we're, we tried to Google like some vintage sayings or like <laughs> they're all cheesy. They they're all are. cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> we use gro uh, groovy. What do we say? We're tripping to we're have you here. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But before we dive into this stuff, so tell us a little bit about vintage junkie. What drew you to vintage and like retro pieces? Yeah, I um I've always loved vintage. It's like um when I was little, I just like the treasure of like something from the past, and it was always like. I could find cool high-end things for kind of less, mm -hmm. like if I really took the time and dug for right. it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, and I just was hooked on some on the weirdness of it. Like there's always you can find some cool weird patterns mm -hmm. and stuff you can't find now in a store. Right. Totally. Yeah. Um, but we are seeing kind of like a little retro revival. We're seeing more yeah. vintage becoming popular. Why do you think that is? I think it's always been popular, but yeah, it's definitely, I think social media and TikTok has a big push, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. But um, also like every trend and new styles are always just something recycled from the past. Mm -hmm. So you might just not always notice that you're being like given this stuff again, but it's um, just something that's from the past. So that's good when trying to be trendy. Yeah. Just find something vintage. Right, and then keep yeah. it, and then maybe you'll have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but we are so happy that you brought a couple of things okay. in, in terms of clothing, and uh, we have to talk about, these are in I front of me, these. so I wanna know, <laughs> what are these things that are, are, this stuff that, you know, what genre or decade are, I guess, is these from? So they are 60s Italian uh, Impoli bottles with flame stoppers. They are gorgeous, I love the colors. They came in like amber, um, rare ones like purple clear wow. but um yeah thank you i love them too yes <laughs> they're a bottle i wouldn't want to use it they're so beautiful i know oh I my gosh to yeah. put liquor in them yeah like, <laughs> i wouldn't feel too fancy you no <laughs> yeah yeah let me pour you a drink yes. <laughs> oh, they're just so beautiful mm -hmm. yeah uh, tell us what else you brought in because i know a lot of okay. when we talk about like fashion <clears throat> um and retro fashion a lot of these pieces remind me exactly of like pictures i see yeah. so this is yeah. beautiful yeah i tried to pick like very obviously retro <laughs> to bring in and then just some other ones that um, any of these can be like incorporated into like modern mm -hmm. um, wardrobe. Yeah. But yeah, these prints are just very obviously retro. Very bright. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So then what are the other ones back there that might not um, be as, uh, yeah. I guess, so in your I, face? Yeah, um, so I picked out this dress. I think this floral pattern Ooh. is like still kind of talks very modern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And someone could just wear this to work, mm -hmm. you know, change up the accessories. Mm -hmm and you're ready to go. Yeah, and then the blazers are huge yeah. now too. Yeah, and I thought this blazer, like it is just like a little pop of red, but I thought this bright yeah. kind of brought it out so you could always put like a a current shirt underneath it, like just a t-shirt mm -hmm. or um, a vintage piece. Yeah, that's so oh, cool that's where there's like different options for everything. Yeah. And what's super nice is that you are super knowledgeable. Uh, so people Thanks. can stop by Vintage Junkies and yeah. kind of talk through the process and uh, and kind of get to know these pieces and where they come from and then also see how you can kind of apply it to, uh, you know, nowadays. We have your information uh, on the bottom of your screen. Uh, but uh, yeah, what, what are your hours? So that way people know when to, to come in. Yeah, um, it does get confusing for people sometimes. I'm only open Wednesday through Sunday, mm -hmm. 11 to six, but Sunday is 11 to four. Okay, perfect. That's mm -hmm. not confusing. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's X like it is. It's hours. <laughs> now we're okay. talking about vintage. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But thank you so much for uh, coming in. I think this was a groovy time, I guess. Is, is that, we can oh, say yeah. groovy? We, we were groovy. Yeah. Okay. Groovy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, you know, always will stay in style over the years.